Hi there, everybody. Thank you for coming to LankSports.com. He's Jeff Reinhardt. I'm Keith Schweigert, and we're here to discuss the first of our two spotlight games this week. Uh, the first week of the 2010 Lancaster Lebanon League high school football season. And Jeff, we'll talk about your game first. It's uh, Mannheim Central going up to their second home, really, their home away from home, Hershey Park Stadium, to take on Lower Dolphin, game time 7 o'clock. Jeff will be blogging live from that game, bringing you all the action on the field. And uh, Jeff, Mannheim Central, last time they were at Hershey was for the AAA uh, state championship yep. game. That one didn't end so well for them. They lost to Sealands Grove uh, back in December. We know uh, Central also lost a lot of players from that team to graduation. What can you tell us about the New Look Barons? Uh, new Look, good words. Uh, definitely a New Look Central team. Not many starters back. One starter back on defense, Derek Hart, the safety. A lot of new kids for the Barons. Um, new look everywhere. Uh, but they still do the same stuff. I got to see their uh, scrimmage against Cedar Cliff last week. Still doing the Veer stuff and the spread stuff. Keep an eye on Michael Smith. Uh, he was going to be the quarterback. Mike Williams switched him to like a slash type back. He'll be in the slot. He'll be in the backfield. Keep an eye on Devon Lee. He's a freshman, 5'11", 180, and he will play. He'll get some carries out of the backfield. And he'll also uh, probably start at safety with Hart in the in the secondary, uh, but really a whole new look kind of team for Central, uh, especially defensively as mentioned. Um, three kids back on the line: Rob Laporte, um, uh, Blake Kreider, and Peter Ireland. That'll help having those three trench guys back will definitely help them. Uh, look for Chase Moyer to probably be the starting quarterback. The senior, his brother Jared, led him to the state final. Don't forget. Um, Caleb Walton also got a lot of snaps in camp. They like him for the future. He's a junior. Uh, but a whole a whole different team. You mentioned all the seniors they lost. You could go on and on and on. Gruber and Johnson and Royer and Trafford. And they lost some major, major kids from last year. Uh, but Mike Williams said in camp, he said, we can't worry about Sealands Grove. We lost. We got there. It was great to get there. But we got to press on for 2010. So, um, And, yeah, they're going to their home away from home. They're certainly familiar with Hershey Park. Uh, and I'm sure once the ball goes up Friday night, they'll be just fine, even all the new kids. So interest, interesting opener for Mannheim. Okay, and uh, Lower Dolphin, we don't know a whole lot about them because not, nobody's had the pads on under the lights on Friday yeah. nights yet. But we do know the Falcons are in that tough mid-pen Keystone division. Oh, yeah. uh, some of the teams they'll be going up against this year. Bishop McDevitt, Susquehanna Township, who we oh. remember from the district playoffs last year. Sure. Cedar Cliff with uh, former LLE League coach uh, Jim Cantafio oh, at yeah. the controls there. How do you think they're going to stack up with Central? Um, LD is coming off back-to-back -back four and six seasons, which is kind of down for them because like early 2000s, you'll recall, they're a district finalist team. They won the district finals in 03. Uh, they beat Central in that wild game in 2002 in the district semifinals, 42-40 on the Hail Mary pass. That's right. So they've, gotten, they've kind of gotten away from that the last couple of years. They've kind of come back to the pack. As you said, they play in a killer schedule in the mid-pen every year. And they usually load up their non-league, and here they're going back to playing Central again. So I think since LD beat Central in 02, they've lost like the next four meetings. I want to say 35 nothing, 38 nothing, and 31 to seven. So Central's kind of, you know, gotten back yeah. and taken care of business against LD. Nine starters back for LD. Uh, I know their quarterback is back. He's a lefty, uh, but they kind of been stuck in this four and six mode the last couple of years. And boy, they got the Barons out of the shoot. So tough opener for them. We'll see how it goes. I'm assuming you like Central in this one? Uh, I'll take the Barons, even with all the new kids. Uh, I still think they'll get their act together there, and something tells me they're going to be there in the end. So, yeah, I'll go Mannheim here. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens on Friday. Don't forget, if you you, you can get all the action from the on the field with Jeff and his live blog on LikeSports.com. We'll also be updating scores from around the league as we get them on Friday nights. And uh, something new this year, after the games uh, are all in and all the finals are compiled, Jeff and I will be wrapping up all of Friday night's action with a short video that will be posted late Friday night after we get all the scores. In the meantime, if you have any questions about your favorite team and how they're going to do this year, uh, another new feature for Lank Sports this season, Jeff and I will be hosting a live chat every Thursday night starting this Thursday at 8 o'clock. Jeff, you're going to be flying solo in this one. No uh, I'll join the fun next week. And if you can find a link to the chat in the Spotlight Games section of the main page of LankSports.com. Also, don't forget during the week, uh, Jeff and I both do uh, plenty of posting on our blogs. My blog, The Huddle, talks specifically about Lancaster Lebanon League football. 
Jeff's blog talks football, but also all the other sports around the league. His blog is called The View from the Press Box. You can find links to both on linksports.com. Thanks again for joining us. We hope to see you on Friday.